We begin with this, an experimental drug at showing promise against the coronavirus. Preliminary results from a clinical trial from the National Institutes of Health found that patients taking Redemzivir, Redemzivir rather, sorry, Redemzivir, recovered an average of four days sooner than those who were taking a placebo. Dr. Anthony Fauci called the results a very important proof of concept that a drug can block this virus. But the findings still need to be peer-reviewed so the data can be studied more extensively. The FDA may now consider an emergency approval to broaden the drug's use. First on CBS This Morning, senior medical correspondent Dr. Tara Narula spoke to a patient in that study and a scientist fighting to get more answers. It was a very quick onset. It got real for me when I, when I laid down Sunday night and couldn't breathe. Drew McDonald's battle against COVID-19 had just landed him in the hospital when he was offered some hope. Doctors asked the 29-year-old to join a clinical trial of the antiviral drug remdesivir. I was already hooked up getting my, my medication for my double pneumonia, so I thought, well, you know, why not? Um, absolutely. And how did your course change over the next several days to week after you received the infusion? By the time I left the hospital, I was already improving drastically. McDonald was one of more than 1,000 hospitalized COVID-19 patients in the nationwide trial. Those receiving remdesivir recovered 31% faster and were slightly less likely to die than those getting a placebo. Remdesivir, which was originally developed to treat Ebola, targets one of the enzymes that helps coronavirus multiply. This may be just a first step. Dr. Jean Marazzo supervised the trial at the University of Alabama, Birmingham. The effort that went into developing not just therapy, but also vaccines for SARS and Ebola has put us light years ahead of where we would be otherwise. While Drew McDonald may never know whether he received remdesivir or placebo, for him, the benefit was always clear. Why was it important for you to be part of this research? Because I want to help other people. It's important to note that this is not a cure-all, but it is a step in the right direction. And it offers hope that we might be able to develop a therapeutic before a vaccine is produced. Dr. Fauci says there is an ethical obligation to immediately let the placebo group know so they can have access to the drug. Uh, so he may find out, Tara, after all. Uh, you know, I'm curious, you mentioned those therapies. Based on this preliminary data, does it seem like there's going to be a single solitary best drug when it comes to treating COVID-19? Well, Tony, the experts we spoke to said it's unlikely that it's going to be one drug, but more likely a cocktail or a mix of drugs that target different problems or different parts of the disease pathway. So for example, remdesivir or antivirals work better. We know earlier in the disease process when the virus is replicating. Anti-inflammatories may work better later when there's so much of the inflammation that's causing problems. Now it's important to note remdesivir is an IV drug. It must be given to hospitalized patients uh, in the hospital as an infusion, usually over several days.